So I had somebody tell me, Reaper's not good enough for professional work. I guess all those gigs that I've done using Reaper uh, were, were fake. Um, I guess the money wasn't real. I guess the bank, you know, took counterfeit money. I, I, I have no idea um, what this person is talking about. Pro Tools mix engine sounds better. Look, I, I will put my mixes up against any pr Pro Tools user, um, Pro Tools engineer. The difference between Pro Tools and Reaper is slim. Um, as far as the mix engine is concerned, and, and even if there are differences, guess what? We're going to be using these things to change those subtleties. So the bottom line is, and this is what I've experienced um, just by using the gear on MixAnalog.com. I don't want to make this a commercial for them, but you know, I'm now able to use analog gear. Actually, up until I had the Stam Audio SA76, well... I had the really nice compressor, but that was very clean, very digital sounding. And I mean, it's a good compressor, but let me tell you, having that 1176 clone changed my perspective on, you know, what outboard gear is capable of. And uh, all I could say is I wish I could afford um, a nice mixing room like a lot of people have. So at least with mix analog, you know, you do have that ability. I mean, right now, if you want to use a real 1176, you can use it for up to a half hour each day. And they're allowing people to do that. Uh, but if you want to use something like the Alessia, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but the Muse EQ, I love the Muse EQ. I just did two albums and the Muse EQ was used a lot and I used the tape machine sometimes and what else did I, 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 I used the Poltec, I used the, I don't really care for the Fairchild to be honest with you, um, and I, I don't know what it is. The Fairchild, I mean, it's a good compressor, but it's not like, I, I would never spend $10,000 on one or, or let alone thirty grand or more. Um, I think they're overpriced. I believe the Beatles drove the price up. And to me, the better bargain is an LA-2A, LA-3A, or 1176. Um, you know, get one of those, seriously. They're, I, I think basically the only thing that, can't be compressed with either of those is well no I'm, I'm trying to think vocals you got vocals you got I don't know I think I think your bases are mostly covered I mean if you don't like either of those two the, the distressor is good but my point with all this is your professional engineers while they may be mixing all in the box the material that they're receiving from the recording engineers was tracked with high quality preamps, high quality microphones, and high quality everything else. You know, compressors on the way in, EQs on the way in, you name it, they've used it. And yeah, oh yeah, I'm mixing in the box. Well, so am I. But the tracks I'm getting are, are from a $300 interface, not something on a big SSL console, Neve, API, you know, uh, and, and not having the ability to EQ on the way in is huge, by the way. I, I highly recommend, I've said it before, get at least two good channels of audio, get a nice, um, I, I would rather have two excellent channels of audio than 10 mediocre or average you know so i would get eq a noise gate and a compressor on two channels um and i think with that you're good to go unfortunately guess what just two channels of great audio is gonna cost you like eight grand or, or that's about what i'm estimating it at so is it all worth it in the end hell no i say go for the plugins man if you're just making music and you're not making a ton of money at this, use the plugins. I'm telling you, you're good enough with the plugins. But if you have the money you're laying around, if you're not going to go broke, if you're not, not going to starve, absolutely go ahead and get that gear. It will make a difference. And the doll that you use is not going to be the difference maker. The microphone position, the microphone itself, 
And by the way, anybody who doesn't believe me about the microphone being important, watch for my upcoming video about the cheapest microphone. <laughs> the microphone doesn't matter. Get out of here with that bullshit. Come on, guys. Um, microphone matters the most. Then I would say your converters do matter from a noise standpoint and clarity, but uh, I would say converters are probably the last on the list. And really at this point in 2019, um, any audio interface made after like the year 2010 is probably going to have okay converters. And by okay, I mean, you can make great music that, you know, audiences will love and, you know, they're not, you know, um, what do you call it? Like Lynx Aurora or they're not, uh, I was about to say real tech. <laughs> um, what the hell's in I can't even think of the name, but you know, where the audio interface matters is with latency and, um, stability. So what it was, I can't think of the name of the company right now. Cause I'm, this is like a stream of consciousness video. Uh, I will post it below what I'm trying to think of right now that I can't, uh, but they had the most stable drivers and the converters are very nice. But as far as, uh, the preamp does matter to an extent. Absolutely. Um, I would, I would put preamp after the microphone. Microphone quality matters the most as far as the gear, but then obviously your instrument has to be good. Your vo I'll just put it this way. I would rather have um, Christina Aguilera singing into a soda can or one of those plastic cups on a string than me singing karaoke into a Neumann or Telefunken uh, 251 or whatever it's called. I forget. But anyway, point is, what you put in front of the microphone matters most, obviously, and that includes the room, but the microphone matters the most. And why am I talking about this still? You know, again, I'll, I'll just say this. The guy that made that comment, you don't know what you're talking about, and I will outmix, or I will, I will equal the mix of most professional engineers who mix entirely in the box, given the same source material. And if you don't believe me, somebody send this video to Chris Lord Algae or uh, Andy Wallace or any of the rest of them, and we'll have a little mix mix off or mix duel, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'll prove that Reaper is absolutely a professional digital audio workstation. Boom.